Hi, welcome to Tool Tips by our name. Do you often feel that when you're sitting at your computer, what you're doing is not necessarily the most efficient way of doing it, and that there's gotta be a quicker way, but you're just not sure how? Spend a few minutes with me each week, and I will take you through some of the time-saving tool tips that are already available on the applications that you are currently using. Today's tool tip is how to use Flash Fill in Microsoft Excel versions 2013, 16, 19, or Office 365. It is one of the most amazing features of Microsoft Excel. It takes a really tedious task, and which used to be a, take you hours to perform, allow you to do it in a flash. The first one above my examples that I'm going to give you is I want to take out from a name. I want to extract out the first name. I'll simply type in the first name into the cell next to it. And then on the right hand side in the home menu ribbon, you can just click on the drop down arrow and choose flash fill and that will flash fill it down. Another way is to type in, I'm going to pull out the surname. But instead of actually using a tool, I'm going to use a shortcut key and just press Control E. So it allows you to extract out the data. Now I'm going to just quickly get it to combine the data together. Okay, so here I've got the name and the surname and Control E. What I, yep, that's put it in and it's combined it with the space in between. Another thing that it'll allow you to do is extract out of a number, pull out a month or a day or a year, whatever it is. So in this instance, I only want the month to come out. So I will just simply type in the first one, Control E, and that, didn't work really well, so I'm going to do the first two, and that way it'll just fill in the rest. For some reason, it just didn't pop in that other one. All right, so that was pretty straightforward, and I now have the month pulled out from. In this final example, we have a whole lot of text, and in front of that text, in some of them, there's a preceding space that I don't want. So I want to be able to clean up and make it a little bit tidier. What I'm going to do is I'm going to start off with the first one. And if I press Control E, you'll notice that it doesn't allow me, Excel doesn't actually recognize the example that I've given for a flash fill. So I'll put in a second one. And then I'll press the Control E, and this time it accepts it. And you'll notice that at the front of it, there is no longer the preceding space that there is. So all I've done is cleaned up my text in this example. 